Our nation is on the brink, on the brink. And we've been terrorized into opposition by being spoon-fed a perpetual state of uncertainty. We've been waiting for someone to ring the alarm. Too many missiles pointed in the wrong direction. Too many innocent bystanders intoxicated from a steady diet of Kool-Aid, drunk at a series of underground bootleg tea parties. Too many persuasions intimidated by the complexity of the analysis intentionally drafted in lexicon, unintelligible to the non-insider, which is most of us, most of us, most of us. Too many oblivious who never got the memo that the ish, the ish was going down, but are catching more to fire on the ground, just trying to make it to the corner bodega. Just trying to make it across the Arizona border to New Mexico. Just trying to make it to the collective bargaining table, to the free healthcare clinic, to the next mortgage payment. Just trying to make it. And while they all stagger and nod, bob and weave ceremoniously to the distorted national anthem, remixed with the golden oldies like old Mississippi, like I wish I was in Dixie. And while our esteemed colleagues assessing the situation apply the appropriate formula for profiting from a disaster to recovering economy, then collect the necessary media sound bites to justify the number of casualties, our roof, our roof, our roof is on fire, and we are running through the houses of blazing timber falls, screaming, texting on our blackberries, yo, wake the hell up, wake the hell up, wake the hell up and get out. This is what it means to be a freedom fighter in the 21st century. And we are unraveling the tightly woven, unwelcome mats of apathy. We are bursting through the door, hurtling over the bureaucratic couching of rhetoric and resignation. We are dodging the falling beams of skewed statistical analysis, then retaliating with homegrown metrics of our own, like blah, 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 do that math. We are in the scorching kitchen, crafting up loftier, more flavorful media sound vittles that not only taste good, but actually make sense when you swallow them. We are bounding over the threshold, dousing the flames of the politics of this is how it's done, son. And they can't touch we, touch we. Cause our eyes have seen too many citizens on the outside looking in at their own country. Too many citizens downgraded to subprime refugees. Too many citizens relegated to the land of chronic unemployees. Too many last class passengers stranded in endless cycles of violence and poverty. And while I was seeing the up in the bedroom engrossed in a greedy menage trying to stimulate Mr. Economy, his lady love true democracy has yet to get open and come because she knows the difference between a one night stand and true love in the climax the facade crumbles, she's pinned between false hope and inspiration, between platitudes and real conversation, between photo ops and authentic engagement, between campaign slogans and genuine legislation, and in between all of those in-betweens, she is calling out, and we are hurling the charred remains of broken hopes and dreams. We are thrashing through the devastation of history, bound to repeating itself. We grab her by the hand and we tell her to hold on. We tell the young father who is breaking the cycle of incarceration and poverty to hold on. We tell the uprooted middle class wife who is leaning on the power of faith and community to hold on. We tell the grandmother ignited who is opening the gateway for greater respect and nobility. Hold on. We will wade through the broken glass to find you. Sift through the wreckage to reach you. Move heaven and earth to show you. But what will you do when we finally meet? Our moment is now.